Hello. Liverpool Echo attacking bogus UKIP candidate fools no one. The screenshot at the front is of Thomas Paul Kangley's election leaflets he's been handing out in Kensington and Fairfield, where he's standing in some modest council elections, where I'm also standing. It's been brought to the attention of the Liverpool Echo. He spelled Britain wrong on his election leaflet. Wow. And the Liverpool Echo has decided to give him tons of free publicity to bring this to the attention of its readers. Now, before anyone says, yeah, but this is going to affect his votes, Joe, this will affect Thomas Paul Kangley's votes. Well, it doesn't. It just looks like the Echo is bullying him over something trivial and minor, and it gives him sympathy and support. You see, Thomas Paul Kangley is a phony UKIP candidate. He works for the security services. One minute he was in the Fianna Fáil Republican Party in Dublin, now he's a masquerading as a English nationalist. He's a phony, right? Thomas Paul Kangley, when I stood in Kensington and Fairfield last year, rang me up and promised me he'd never stand in that ward ever again. He'd had his windows put in, which is probably a load of nonsense, and it was full of thick Labour voters. Right Then when it was announced I was going to stand again and I've, I've been campaigning in the area and getting good results, he decides to stand because it's to take votes away from Joe Owens. Well, ask yourself this, ladies and gentlemen. Why would the Liverpool Echo, on the eve of uh, the council elections tomorrow, give him tons of free publicity over a minor spelling mistake? Ask yourself that well exactly. Because Thomas Paul Kangley is not the real deal. He's a phony that works with the security services. Right? And the security services have told the Liverpool Echo, Liam Thorpe in particular, to write that article. Whether or not you know what's going on, Liam Thorpe, I don't know. Whether or not you're in on it, or you're just told to write the articles, I don't know. Right? But the purpose of the Liverpool Echo in attacking uh, Thomas Paul Kangley, uh, bogus UKIP candidate, over a spelling mistake, is not because they want to dampen uh, his chances of a good vote. But it's to get him sympathy and support, so to increase his vote, and obviously take votes away from Joe Owens. There's no other explanation, right? Why would the Liverpool Echo give him tons of free publicity over a minor spelling mistake? He spelled Britain wrong, wow. But he's obviously spelled Britain wrong on the leaflet, so the security services then could tell the Echo to attack him and so on and so on, but they're all working in it together. This is how it works, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately. You see, when I first announced I was standing in Kensington and Fairfield last year, I was front page Echo News with a double page spread calling me hitman, neo-Nazi, racist, anti-Semite, you name it. Now I've been campaigning hard in Kensington and getting good results, right? I've been getting the quarantine treatment now like I don't exist. Yeah, Thomas Paul Kangley gets massive amounts of free publicity over a so-called spelling mistake that's been done, done deliberate in the first place so the Echo could attack him. There is no other explanation for this, right? You've revealed your hand now, Thomas Paul Kangley. You're another snitch for the security service. You're a bogus English nationalist, like you're a bogus Irish Republican. You work for the security services. You're a shameful man, that's what you are. Okay, thank you.